Hey guys, and welcome to the Cavern of Terror, and welcome to my spoiler-free discussion on Scream Resurrection Episode 4. Yes, I have my Episode 3 review. It's coming, my spoiler review for Episode 3. I still have to edit that, so look forward to that coming out sometime later this week. It, it's really crunch time right now with these reviews because I have my daughter coming, and it's really hard for me to review stuff when she's here. So I'm going to try to get these out as fast as possible. Episode 4 was different. Um, we had a, It was a slower episode than the one before it. It was definitely slower than Episode 3. And Ghostface did something that I don't think we've ever seen him do before. And I liked it for the most part. We're going to get into that a little bit more heavy in the spoiler review. Because, like I said, he does something that he hasn't done before, in my opinion. I don't think he's ever done it before. He might have done it on the television series before this one. But I don't recall because I didn't really watch that. I watched most of the first season and none of the second season. But we got a lot of more character development here. We finally got the confirmation on a couple different relationships. And overall, it was a solid episode. It wasn't as good as the ones before it, but I could definitely be behind that one. It had a lot of story elements in there that really, really helped in a very graphic kill. The kill in episode four was extremely graphic, and we will definitely talk about in that in my spoiler review of episode 4. But until I see you guys in my episode 5 uh, spoiler-free review, yes, I have that coming up later today as well. Stay mental, my friends.